Hi, I'm Water. In this video, we're going to be going over some items which we'll be releasing during the Rio Major, but you actually shouldn't be buying them, and we're going to go over everything you're going to want to know. What I am talking about is all the new souvenir packages, which does come from really just the way the system works. Back in the day, souvenir packages used to be a lot more personalized, having them be randomly dropped every single round. While within the past few majors like Stockholm, Antwerp, and also Rio coming up, the way the souvenir packages work is you're literally able to choose exactly which ones you want, and however many you want too. If you want 100 souvenir packages for literally just one game, you're able to do that, which ultimately just leads to no demand and an oversupply. The problem here is that it essentially causes zero demand for these, which over time the supply only goes up and up. This is just one of the many reasons why you shouldn't be investing into these souvenir packages. It really stems from the fact that the supply will always be greater than the demand, seeing as there really is no restrictions to how many exist. Let's just give a hypothetical example. Like the vertigo collection starts to rise, by the time a new major comes around, everyone will be taking note of that and just spam buy the vertigo souvenirs until they crash back down. The old system, which had them dropping randomly with autograph stickers, were way better to what souvenirs turned into now. It is why you will see these newer ones continually on a decrease, which is definitely not something you want to be investing into. You can really compare it to a souvenir desert hydra, as how, when it originally released, it was selling for around double what it is at the moment, literally just due to the fact that over time, more of these will get supplied as more majors go on, seeing as there is no restrictions as to how many of these cases really drop. If somebody wants 1000 souvenir packages during the major, they're literally able to just directly buy them, rather than going through that luck chance and getting the possibility of having one dropped in a game. Game. Now, although this new system is definitely a lot better for, you could say, the casual player if they just want to open up a few souvenirs, they could just directly buy them from the store, but this does make it really bad for investors, seeing as literally every major goes on, it lowers the price of these items even more. Now, I know you might be thinking, well, if nobody buys it, well, then it will actually increase the price, but you still run into the problem of there being exactly zero demand for them. Saying this, I would love to hear your opinions on the souvenir system in the comments down below. Are you a fan of the new system, or would you want Valve to change it back to what it used to be? Saying this, I hope you are staying hydrated. Until next time, it's in water, and I'm out. Peace.